All right, boys. The Seattle Seahawks took a major L to the San Francisco 49ers. And really, we saw what we expected going into this season, right? This is what we expected to see from the Seattle Seahawks going into this season. Uh, just overall, an ugly game, top to bottom. There was like three whole positives in the entire game, uh, but it really just wasn't too great. Now, let's just get right into the uh, the stats. Let's just start talking about the game. So, first things first, going on here, we got Geno Smith. His stats might look okay, 23 for 28, almost 200 yards. He'll probably pass 200 yards with these last like 30 seconds of garbage time. Uh, one interception. Uh, you might see this DJ Dallas one interception. I, I don't understand the thought process of Pete Carroll there where, you know, you say you have all this faith in Geno Smith. He's your guy. You know, he's the guy that is your starter. He won the quarterback competition. You get in the red zone after putting together a pretty decent drive, and you put the ball in the hands of DJ Dallas and tell him to throw to, D to DK Metcalf in double coverage. It, just this game did not make a whole lot of sense. Uh, on the other side of the ball, Trey Lance incredibly unfortunate he was running a ton they kept on running him between the tackles and he ended up getting hurt really bad looking injury his that was like a Dak Prescott type injury uh, his ankle just looked like it was completely going the wrong way initially it just looked like a big hit and I thought he was like got hit with like a concussion or something like that but no his it, like from the angle they showed it the second time you could see his ankle was not not looking too good uh, but then Jimmy Garoppolo came in. He just started dotting us up. I mean, he really just showed off the fact that our coverage is so piss poor. We love to play these soft zones and give them catches and then try to tackle them after. But the problem is we can't tackle because we just can't tackle. Um, their run game just was unstoppable. They were doing whatever they wanted against us. I mean... We started to do a little bit better in the second half, but, I mean, first half they were walking all over as Debo Samuel was doing anything he wanted just in general this game. Uh, Jeff Wilson had a really solid game, and Trey Lance was doing good before he got hurt, and we even had Jimmy Garoppolo doing uh, quarterback sneaks, getting good yardage, or not yardage, but, like, he was picking up first downs. He got the touchdown. Overall, just a very, very disappointing game for us. Uh we had a muffed punt, and the commentators were blaming it on Tyler Lockett as if number 37 didn't just completely run into him. He got pushed into him, I guess. But over, this was just a all-around negative game. Uh, I have about three positive things to say. Uh, that is our goal line defense. Like Our defense is apparently only good within the two-yard line uh, other than the Jimmy Garoppolo quarterback sneak. Uh, throughout this season, we've gotten like four or five stops just within the five-yard line. That's a good thing. Uh, and Wosu, uh, he's good. I mean, he was the only guy. Like, you'd see a positive play, and it's like, oh, yeah, there's number 10. He's the one that, you know, led to it. And then, of course, the only way that we scored, we had Tariq Woolen get that field goal block. And uh, Michael Jackson, just the greatest ball recoverer of the entire team, got it, took it to the end zone. Uh, you know, Michael Jackson, he has been uh, pretty solid for us overall. I mean, he recovered both of the fumbles uh, in week one. He recovered the kick uh, this week. So Michael Jackson, good on that, and uh, good play by Tariq Woolen. Overall, though, just bad defensive game. I'm not a big fan of how we play defense, but that's something that just will not change. We love to play these soft zones and then try and make the tackle after someone has already gotten the ball, and it just doesn't seem to work too well. Uh, another big issue that I don't know if it'll show here yet, yeah, penalties. Ten penalties for 106 yards. I believe we had four PIs on uh, our corners. We at least had four just in general fouls uh, on our corners. Uh, you can't see it, but time of possession is 38 minutes to 21 minutes. Uh, not a great time of possession <laughs> for the Seattle Seahawks. We had three turnovers. It was just overall not a good game. Rashad Penny got six whole carries for 15 yards. Just in general, run game wasn't working. Passing wasn't working. It, it didn't seem like Geno Smith wanted to even try and come back in the game. It didn't seem like the team in general wanted to come back in the game. Like Even in the second half, we did relatively solid in the second half. We started holding them, 
Uh, they weren't scoring uh, until that last drive in the fourth quarter. We held them almost scoreless in the second half, and we just couldn't put up points. No one decided to do anything offensively. Geno Smith kept taking the short routes, the underneaths, and all that. And it's just like Geno Smith is a good game manager. He won't make a ton of mistakes, but he's not going to win you a game. In that scenario where Geno Smith is the guy that is behind, uh, that is playing quarterback for you, and you are behind in the game, we're not winning that game. Geno Smith is not a comeback player. Uh, he just, I don't think it, it's a thing that he can do. Like, yeah, 24 for 30. That's not a bad completion percentage. But at what cost? He kept throwing underneath. We get no offensive production. We haven't scored in four quarters. The last time we scored an offensive touchdown was uh, the second quarter in the Broncos game. Like, it's this is the kind of what you expect from Geno Smith, just in general. This is like what we expected going into the game, and we got one, we got two quarters of Geno Smith that was incredible. And now I think it's showing that uh, this is the Geno Smith that exists. And the Broncos game was just some miracle that no one knows how to explain. Uh, but overall, I mean, this was a horrible game for us. Uh, if it weren't for the blocked field goal for a touchdown, this would have been a 30-0 to zero game because God knows our offense was not scoring that game. Uh, just so incredibly disappointing. Other than uh, Inwosu, uh, that was really the only player that was showing positives. Al Woods started doing really good in the second half, but like offensive line started getting dogged on. I mean, Gabe Jackson gave up uh, a lot of pressure. Uh, we had Charles Cross losing some battles. We had Abe Lucas losing some battles. A lot of uh, ineligible men downfield. Like, uh, I know Abe Lucas had one. I think Blythe had one as well, where they're beating their defender, but they're pushing so far forward because they beat their defender that whatever play that we make because there's, like, good offensive line play is just completely negated because they were too far down the field, even though they're still blocking somebody. Uh, it's It was a really uh, unfortunate game. I mean, we had 10 penalties. They had one. We had three turnovers. They had zero. They had 40 minutes of time of possession. We had 20. I mean, this was just the 49ers game. And, I mean, uh, the only positive out here is really just good for Jimmy Garoppolo. He showed that he's still a good quarterback. Everyone doubted him. He came in uh, when he was needed. Uh, he wasn't even allowed to practice with the team for a little bit. Uh, but, I mean, he came in, did what he needed to do. So it was good for him. But, man. Very unfortunate game. This is one of those games where it's just like you sit down after and you're like, why did I spend these last few hours watching this? Like, there are so many things better with my life I could have done than watch this football game. But, you know, what are we going to do? Uh, the Falcons against the Rams was more entertaining. The 28-3 to joke was funny, and then the Falcons started coming back. I don't know what's going on with that game right now, but... Uh, Hopefully the Falcons somehow find a way to win that so that we can be tied for the best NFC West team uh, and the Rams still suck. But I think the Rams are going to end up winning that one. Overall, incredibly disappointing game. Uh, next week, I believe we play the Lions. Uh, hopefully that'll go better. We play the Falcons next week, and then we play the Lions. So hopefully the Falcons game will go a little bit better. But their offense has been looking surprisingly solid. Uh, uh, in uh, compared to ours, in which we haven't scored a single offensive point in six quarters. But let me know down below in the comments what you thought about this game. I mean, so much negatives. The worst first half possible, and the second half didn't really get any better. So, uh, really sad day. Not a not a good game whatsoever. This is the Geno Smith I expected going into the season. Hopefully, he can pull it back together. Uh, if not. Who knows? One thing that really pissed me off before I go was uh, at halftime, apparently they asked Pete Carroll about the trick play where they tried to get DJ Dallas to throw the touchdown. And he said, oh, it worked. We just needed to throw the ball better on that play. It didn't work. Your main target, DK Metcalf, was double covered on that play. And you had your third string running back throwing the football. I, I don't know what Pete Carroll thinks in his mind. I, I don't know what he saw in that play, but it, Pete Carroll is and annoys me that's one thing i'll say but uh yeah that's gonna do it for this video let me know down below in the comments what you thought like i said uh leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and with that i'd like to thank you for watching have a great day